everyone. In this video, we will discuss one of the most asked questions like how we can split our input text based on the sentence. So till now we were doing the split based on new line character, but let's go ahead and see how we can perform the same Q&A operations using sentence wise split. So I will quickly jump on to the VS code and here I have already set my open AI key in the environment variable. Next thing is I need to go ahead and read my text file which is an input file for me. So this is how we can go ahead and read our text file and I am just saving the content inside text variable. So let me go ahead and execute this. Next thing is we need to break our text. So for this particular thing, we are using NLTK. So make sure that you have installed NLTK using pip install NLTK. And apart from that, we need those routine libraries like OpenAI, LangChain and all those. So those are all definitely required. Let me go ahead and pull up all those dependencies here. From LangChain, first of all, we need text splitter because this is the one which is holding our NLTK text splitter. And then I will use the same NLTK text splitter and will let me pull in that one here. And this will take chunk size as the first parameter. So depending on your data, you can decide what is your chunk size. I am just going ahead with 100 then I need to grab this inside my docs variable because we are going to construct the documents out of it. So we will say NLTK text splitter dot create documents and inside this it takes a list as a parameter so we will just pass in our text in the form of list. Okay so let me go ahead and execute this. Cool, so let's see what is inside the documents. You can see that the three documents are constructed based on the input data and if you will see the end part. So here each and every document must be ending with a complete sentence. So it's not like that some of the portions of your sentence is part of one document and rest is in another. It's not going to be like that. So this is what we are doing here. So you can see that here also this sentence got truncated at the dot and same here it means each and every file is containing full sentences. Okay, so now this is the one way to validate. Let's say you want to see how sentences are actually broken up. So what you can do here is I can probably show you here itself. So let's create a variable text and we'll say text splitter. Uh, NLTK text splitter dot split text and inside this I will be passing this and we'll go ahead and print this text variable. So instead of creating text, uh, create documents, if you are doing split text, then you will see how the text is actually broken. So this is your first sentence. Then you have another sentence here. So after every sentence, you will see a slash n. So this is how we are doing. Okay, so this we don't need because we are constructing a document. So we have three documents in place. Cool. Next thing is we need to do vectorization part. So let's go ahead and import all the required packages once again. I think I should copy this lang chain word because we will be needing it again and again. And then we'll say lang chain dot embeddings dot open AI. And from here we need open AI embeddings. Okay. Then we need for vector stores. So lang chain dot vector stores import chroma. You can use any of the database you want. And then we need to import LLM. So we'll say openai dot LLMs import, I mean long, langchain dot LLMs import openai. And the last one is our retrieval QA. 
which we can do it using langchain dot chains import retrieval QA. So these are the dependencies we need. Once these are in place, we can go ahead and generate the embedding. So let's create a variable embedding and it's going to be initialized using the constructor of OpenAI embeddings. Then we'll go ahead and create vector database which is using chroma and this chroma will be taking documents as an input. So let's say from documents and we'll initialize the variable documents using the docs variable which we just created above and there is another parameter which is embedding and this we can initialize initialize with our OpenAI embeddings. Okay, it's time to create chain. So chain is nothing but we uh, it's a retrieval. Uh, it's from the retrieval QA class where we wherein we need to define what is the LNM we are taking, what is the chain type, what is our vector database, and how we are going to retrieve it. So let's go ahead and do it. Retrieval QA dot from chain type. First parameter is LLM. So in this case, we are using OpenAI. Then we need to define the retriever. Which is our vector DB. As retriever. Then we need to mention the chain type. Which is stuff in this case. Okay, let me quickly execute this cell and make sure that nothing is wrong. Okay, so we are good. The only thing remaining is to shoot out our query. So let's we ask some question here. What are the reasons behind homelessness? And we will see chain dot run and pass this query as the parameter. Let's see how it goes. Okay, the reasons behind homelessness vary for each individual and can include personal choice, poverty, substance abuse and all these. So all these are the details which are coming from these three documents. So nothing is coming from outside. If you will read this content carefully, you will figure out that all those details are from this particular snippet. Here are those. So that's how we can uh, break our document into sentences and just query it all together. I hope you enjoyed watching playing with NLTK and thanks for watching.